Hello, welcome back my dear children. Are you going on well? Okay, very good. In the last class we learnt the poem Mother and the Mouse. Am I right? Okay, listen here. I will ask some questions to check whether you understood the previous portion or not. Okay, are you ready? Here is a question. First question. How does the boy describe his mother's courage? Who will say the answer? Yes, very good. The mother is not afraid of darkness. She doesn't fear even thunder and lightning. Okay. Let's move on to the second question. What made the mother perch up high on the kitchen sink? Who will say the answer first? Yes, very good. The mother was so scared that she passed up high on the kitchen sink. Okay? Listen to the third question. Some kitchen appliances are mentioned in the poem. What are they? Who will say the answer? Yes, very good. Oven and pressure cooker. Okay, then let's go to the next question. What was the mother scared of? Yes, very good. The mother was scared of a little mouse. Very good. Okay, my dears. All of you answered it very well. Okay, let's begin today's section. I will recite the seventh stanza from the page number 181. You listen carefully. I picked a broom and shoot at it, I chased it to the hall, I almost whacked it sharply for driving mummy up that wall. But it was quick and cunning and soon gave me the slip. It vanished in the hallway into the garden skip. I ran into the kitchen and held to my mummy down, trembling like an autumn leaf. She wore a frightened frown. I don't like mice, she whispered, her big eyes round with fear. I felt like superheroes do, so glad that I was near. I told her not to worry, with the mice I was at war. I promised her that she would be safe, for that's what sons are for. Okay, my dears. Did you get the idea of the poem? Okay, don't worry, I will explain it. By hearing the screaming of his mother, the poet reached the kitchen. Then he realized the situation. So suddenly he took a broom and shoot at it. What do you mean by shoot? To drive away somebody or something by saying, Shoe. Okay. Listen here, my dears. We are also using the shoe sound to drive away some birds and other creatures. Okay. And then he chased it to the hall. He almost had. Had means to hit something or someone by force. When the poet hit it with his all strength then it ran to the garden because it was very quick and cunning and it vanished what do you mean by vanish vanish means disappear it disappeared into a garden skip here skip is used as noun skip is a large metal container into which people put based materials okay my dears let's move on to the next stanza listen here then the poet ran to the kitchen to help mother climb down at that time the mother was shivering with fear like an autumn leaf the poet compares the fear of the mother with the autumn leaf Children, what do you know about autumn? Autumn is one of the seasons. We have four seasons, 
summer winter autumn and spring during autumn all the trees shed their leaves okay shall we move on to the next stanza listen here the mother was very much frightened and her big eyes became a large round with fear and said in very low voice that she didn't like mice mice is the plural form of mouse at that time the poet felt that he was a superhero and was glad of the fact that she was around to save her in that situation okay my dears let's listen to the explanation of the last stanza having realized the mother's fear and weakness the poet promised her that mother wouldn't need to worry about the mice being her child he would protect and keep her safe from these creatures okay my dears have you ever got a chance to save your mother like this oh it's okay if you get a chance you also should be very courage okay my dears did you enjoy the poem hope you enjoy the poem very well it's a funny poem isn't it okay my dears that's all for today let's wind up today's class and meet in the next class children take care and stay safe thank you dears